friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is about cleaning. I know I never done about cleaning uh, videos, but uh, I think this one really deserves its own airtime and hopefully help people like myself uh, that either heard of this method of cleaning and never tried or just did not believe it worked. So, long story short, um, most of us have uh, uh, glass um, showers or, or glass door showers and when you use it for a week or two, the soap scam getting built on the, on the doors and we all need to clean it up. And normal glass cleaners do not clean it and there are a lot of commercial products that um, claim to do a good job and I tried many of them, many of them really expensive and you know some of them do a job but none of them do um, as amazing job as I would wish when you pay so much money uh, for a product that, that, that allegedly designed for that particular purpose clean the soap scam from a, from a glass and I really got desperate because my current shower that I picture in a, in a tile uh, for this video is kind of almost like double size and uh, I had trouble to clean small showers because it takes forever but now it's a double size and I thought like something needs to change and start researching what is the homemade good product that will serve me uh, in cleaning that um, glass and then you know most of the recipes um, for, for product are mostly the same. Use uh, baking powder or bicarb soda and add vinegar, put it on a glass, wait, wipe and should work. And I was so skeptical. I'm not kidding. Um, when it's so easy, it's uh, too good to be true, right? So, but you know, I already tried different sprays, different wipes, different everything. It, it just was time and money wasting exercise. And some of them work better, some of them work worse, worse but um, uh, now when I've got bigger shower, I, I said something needs to change. So, this morning I made the concoction which, unlike all the recipes on internet, uh, I mixed ingredients in equal proportion. By the way, all ingredients that I use for this recipe, they're in, down below in the link in the, in the video description. Um, you can buy it in local supermarkets, but you know, I've got Amazon Prime account and for same price or even cheaper than local supermarkets, it's getting delivered to you uh, without you stepping out. So, um, you know, take advantage, click on that link and uh, I'm, I've got no affiliation with those products. It's just fine that um, saving time and money not to go to supermarket and supermarket also have in the small uh, packages when, when you use it that much you may want a little bit of more of the uh, particular ingredient which is you know suits the purpose anyhow so the ingredients are quite simple it's bicarb soda or baking powder i use bicarb soda and vinegar but there's a moment when you need to be really careful when you make the concoction uh, so you put bicarb soda first and you measure how much you put in and then slowly start pouring vinegar into it because it will bubble and if you pour it too fast it will over bubble and everything will just um, run uh, out of the uh, bowl that you're mixing in so um, I'd suggest uh, be patient you know mix it well and when you got both ingredients and equal amounts are in uh, take probably used and that's quite important because the um, shower uh, doors as a uh, glass, the um, half plastic, half glass, so they're very sensitive to scratch. So I'm using half used, um, I guess, dishwashing um, sponge uh, because this side that is a little bit abrasive is uh, softened. So what you do, you kind of dip it in a bowl that already used uh, vinegar and bicarb soda, mix it together because it doesn't mix 100%, and in a kind of circular motion applied to glass without missing any bits. 
So I go around and around and around. Um, what I notice a approximately 150 grams of bicarb soda and 150 to 250 mils of uh, vinegar is enough for me to address all four doors. I don't have a square shower. It's kind of, um, I guess, um, like a half octagon shape, uh, but it's a big shower. So together, I think it makes like around 300 mils or 300 grams of uh, uh, concoction. And it was exactly enough for my um, whole shower to clean. So what you do, you kind of work from top, rub it in all the way to the bottom, every single glass and let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. After that, uh, walk in, take the shower hand, flip the um, uh, sponge, and with a softer bit, when you uh, uh, rinse it with the cold water, wipe it off. And when you're done, that's I think most important bit that is not mentioned on anywhere on the internet is to get rid of all water from the glass and the reason is that because that water however you good wash the glass retains a bit of uh, substances that you just washed and that will restain the glass again so I've got that uh, that I put link in link down below, um, kind of glass wiper, but it's um, electric. So what it does, it kind of wipes the glass and sucks excess water in the reservoir. Um, why is so good? Because the water doesn't drop on the floor and that scam, the soap scam that you're actually washing, not getting reintroduced on the floor. And after all, when you complete the shower, it's clean and that don't, don't have um, all the water with the, you know, all the washed elements on it. Because if you leave the water in, um, first of all, you cannot judge whether, you know, your method worked and how good you clean it. But also it will leave the residue on the glass. So everything that I mentioned right now, uh, I'll put a link down below. So it's simple. Bicarb soda in a probably ceramic bowl, slowly adding vinegar and mixing it together until it's equal proportion. Then you dip the sponge, kind of uh, mix it around and apply in a circular motion with abrasive part, kind of from top to bottom. Wait for 15 minutes and then rinse it with the water and softer part of the sponge down and then collect water you know, you don't have to buy electric one. Uh, it just, you know, I don't want to redo floors when I finish. So I've got the electric one, so it's much easier. But you know what? It worked perfectly. Not even one little scam uh, bit left on a soft scam left on a on on a glass. I actually never had such a clean shower um, ever before. Because uh, honestly, after first shower, it's already there, um, and it feels like it's you never get rid of it. So here you go guys, it's a little life hack um, that I found on the internet. I got so excited because I, I, you know, probably like most of us, I don't like cleaning and that saved me a lot of time. Literally it took me five minutes as I all together uh, to um, clean the shower and it's a perfect condition. I can do it once a week and it's not that hard. So I hope that you like this video. If you like it, please smash the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, click that bell so you won't miss any other videos on my channel and let me know if you would like to know any other life hacks or what other things that it's not easy to do and you believe life hack exists, I'll research and try and make another video about that. So it is all what I've got to share today for now. Um, until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Thank you so much for watching.